All right, so this this letter plays on like a stereotype. Again, responding to six brown chicks, this lady says that she's a straight female. She said she experimented with her roommate in college. She's married with two kids and she still dabbles. So her and her old college roommate occasionally hook up for sex. She said the last time that they hooked up, her roommate said that she should pick her or lose her. And she told her she couldn't do that. So she broke it off. Now, her friend went and told her husband that she's been sleeping with her wife. And now her whole family is disgusted with her and she's looking for help. We can't help you. You need to help yourself. For one, you need to come to grips with the fact that you are bisexual, right? So you're into men and women, right? obviously you're embarrassed by that fact or your family's not going to accept you your family doesn't agree with it or a couple of these things blended into one but obviously you're not very proud of that because you kept it hidden away since college however long ago college was you're married and you're you're down low now people always say there's less of a stigma when it's a woman that's not true the, the stigma comes when you're down low like this woman so that's why your family is disgusted because you're a liar you cheat on your husband and again you didn't even cheat on him with a man you cheat on him with a whole woman you hid it from him and you're nasty you don't know who this roommate been sleeping with you don't know her lifestyle like i don't understand people who are married and in committed relationships that choose to cheat and then be looking for help when they get caught. Like, that's a decision you made. And the fact that you've been cheating for years. And you've been with this woman on and on since college. You got married and you still sleep with this woman. What you think? It didn't count? You one of them women who be like, oh, it don't count because it's a woman? Ma'am, get your life together and pray. If you believe in something. Because you a hot mess. And the, and the thing is that I'm not saying pray because you're gay. That's fine. But pray for, for, what's the word? Pray for the strength to be yourself, okay? Because that's your problem. You in the closet still. And you embarrassed to say that you like women because you're over here talking about you experimented and you still hook up. That's what you like. That's what you like. But don't tear down other people in the process trying to hide your little secret. Now you mad, your husband mad, your little girlfriend hurt, your family's disgusted. Now, was it worth it? No. 